This large painting was made by the Flemish artist Pierre Paul Rubens. For the central altar in the Dominican church in Anvers, Belgium, in about 1618. The artist was already well known at the time. He worked with numerous disciples and apprentices, enabling him to accept multiple orders. Let's stand back to study the entire composition. The scene takes place in heaven. In the upper part of the painting, we see Christ surrounded by his mother Mary, the dove symbolizing the Holy Spirit, and God the Father. Draped in red, he brandishes a lightning bolt, like the Greek god Zeus. He threatens to annihilate the earth, which is represented and circled by a serpent, symbol of evil and sin. In the lower part, two monks protect the earth's globe with their hands. These are St. Dominic and St. Francis represented in the habits of their respective monastic orders. Around them, saints from different periods are recognizable thanks to their individual attributes. On the right, St. Sebastian holds the arrows of his martyrdom, and St. Jerome is clothed as a cardinal. On the left, St. George appears in armor, St. Augustine in a bishop's attire, and St. Catherine kneels on the wheel with which she was tortured. The top and bottom registers are linked by corresponding colors, gestures, attitudes, and gazes. as well as through the presence of the gray clouds and the crowd of figures painted in halftones who disappear into the depths of the painting. Rubens illustrates, in a Baroque manner, St. Dominic's vision in which he saw Christ prepared to punish the world and destroy all evil. The intercession of the saints and the Virgin Mary on behalf of mankind was frequently represented in 17th century religious art. During this period, less than 20 years after the end of the religious wars, the Catholic Church attempted to reconquer its believers in the face of growing opposition from Protestantism. <laughs> 